Hello ladies and laddies. So, I'm back. Hey, sorry I know I haven't uh, posted much, but I've been a busy person, you know, school, work, school and work are big ones, not much interesting stuff, but there was one interesting day. Uh, this was earlier on in the gap, and I went here. <laughs> For those of you who can't identify an event from its screaming crowd, uh, I'll tell you that that was Freedom Day in Toronto. It is held by the Simon Wiesenthal Foundation, I hope I said that right, every year. And it is designed to celebrate freedom. Freedom, our freedom, is rooted in the determination of each and every one of us to make sure that fundamental human rights are respected everywhere in this country, every day, and in every way. And inspire positive change in communities and in the world. Your life is just a succession of todays, and there is joy every single day. And it had a few interesting things, like Chris Hadfield, Canadian celebrity, astronaut, commander of the space station. He had a wonderful speech. But I thought, astronauts, no stuff. There was also a lot of Canadian pride, as you can expect. We live in the greatest country in the world, Canada! We built this little piece right here, but it built the space station. Our Canada was the piece that assembled the entire space station in orbit so that the Europeans and all the other partners could use this laboratory in space. Well, I personally think that Chris Alexander... Nous avons tous un rôle à jouer dans la défense de la liberté. We all have a role to play in the defense of freedom today and every day. Thanks to the Simon Wiesenthal Center, thanks to all of you for the opportunity to join our voice in the government of Canada to this cause. Happy Freedom Day. Joyeuse Journée de la Liberté. Thank you once again. While not having as interesting a topic as Chris Hadfield was a better speaker altogether, but, you know, to each their own. Of course, it did get on to some more serious topics. I looked after my baby sister and tried not to get into too much trouble. All this changed when I was 15 years old. In May of 1944, my family was forcibly removed from our home by the Hungarian police. And you know, eventually around to freedom. I have a dream that one day my four little children will be able to live in a nation where they are not judged by the color of their skin, but rather by the content of their character. Of course, these are things we should always be thinking about, as Chris Alexander has said. Freedom, our freedom, is rooted in the determination of each and every one of us. So for the next few weeks I'm going to do some segments linking freedom to various uh, events happening nowadays, such as the American shutdown and the Quebec Charter of Values, and how it can be relevant to your lives, and how it can be relevant to our lives, and how even though many of us experience great freedoms right now, we still need to fight to keep our freedoms alive and other people's. We need to fight to keep the world free. Hopefully I'll be able to get into a weekly schedule soon enough. Work's been dying down, school won't die down at any point. But it seems to be going well, and hopefully I will see you again. Have a chill day, you two.